Hey, it's Preacher Tom, Street America on the South Reach Ministry. And yes, we've been gone for a little while. We've been trying to reestablish some things with the ministry. Um, we have been going out and um, still going out and taking care of Terry. Um, I've got some things I need to drop off to him today, as a matter of fact. But what we're going to start doing is being that our homeless, 99% of our homeless here, have decided they want their privacy so they can do their drugs and whatever else they do. And they've kind of just uh, been shunning me and decided they don't want my help. We're going to start going to Charleston and Savannah and the rest of the places again. So the ministry um, is going to be making some changes. Now, when it came to um, going here, I thought, you know, that they, they would want it. This is my hometown, so naturally I wanted to take care of the homeless here. But they got to where they don't want it. They, there's, some, there's some criminal activities going on, things like that. I won't get into it, but anyways, they've decided they don't want my help. So I will help Terry and the ones that still do want it. But we're going to start making... Um, we're going to start making it a point to go to some other places. So, we're going to go to um, Savannah, Charleston, and um, I'm fixing to join up with Calvary Baptist Church here in Beaufort, South Carolina. And uh, some of the men there I might be able to train and take with me on this. So it's a new change in the ministry, and uh, hopefully I can get some help as well as maybe start getting some other um, some other individuals going out and doing this as well. So hopefully we'll broaden the ministry uh, with some other folks. Anyways, Preacher Tom Anderson, we're getting things ready. We're going to go out and take care of Terry today. Um, I've got a video coming up right after my introduction here of uh, a couple of visits I made with Terry and brought him some food. And uh, Mike, a couple of visits I made there, but he wasn't there. So I've rode around, tried to find new uh, newcomers that have come into Beaufort. And I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but there's something going on. So, but that's not gonna stop me. There's still plenty of people out there who need help. So if we have to drive 75 miles to the next town, Charleston, South Carolina, then we'll go out there and we'll scout around and see what they've got there. So we'll try to bring you some new updates and things about South Carolina and our homeless situation. Not just Buford, but also South Carolina. So pray for us. Keep us in the prayers. And we're going to start making up some, uh, some of these um, storage bins and put the clothes in there and take them out and let the folks go through them. That's the way I did when I was in Charleston and Savannah. I went to Atlanta, Georgia, just different places. So we're going to play it smart. We're going to go where we can, but we're still going to try to help whoever we're able to. So stay tuned. I got Terry coming up where I'm going to be serving him. Uh, there will probably be a couple of videos in that. And... Uh, where I tried to serve Mike, but he wasn't there, so I just left the food for him. So anyways, we're going to go check on him today, but the video that you'll see now is a couple videos from last week and week before on what's been going on with our homeless. So thanks for watching, and yes, hey, we're still here. We ain't gone nowhere. We've been busy, but we're also doing another channel that is not a educational channel but it's going to be an entertainment channel because that'll be on the days when I'm off and not taking care of the homeless and uh, not doing other stuff it's days when I'll get to go fishing and it's called gone fishing and I'm gonna hopefully be able to get shrimp and fish be able to bring back and also cook that up bring it out to the homeless here can't take it to Charleston in there too far away but we're gonna see what we can do so we're going to start fixing up food baskets to take out the Charleston. We can't bring hot meals, it's too far. And also, well, a lot more people. So what we're going to do, we're going to fix up food baskets 
food bags, different stuff that we can bring out and bring it to them, let them let us see what they need, and let them go through the stuff and just take it from there. So, God bless. Thanks for watching. Hey, Preacher Tom Anderson, Street of America Homeless Outreach Ministry, on spot video. We're still here. We ain't going nowhere. We've just been busy. <laughs> God bless. I also wanted to say that uh, we're going to be taking out some, uh, we're going to take Terry out of food box. And, um, Terry's food box will look like this. <clears throat> we got him a lot of different stuff in here, plus some drinks. So we're going to bring that out to Terry. And we've got a lot of small boxes. Now these small boxes are fixed up with crackers and potato chips and a lot of sweets and stuff, but also some potted, uh, some Diana sausages, <clears throat> drinks, water, a cup of soup, things like that. So that's also there in case we run across some homeless we haven't seen because we're not taking our hot meals today. So we're taking out a food box to Terry. We don't know who we might run into, so I'm going to go and check the other places. Hey, what's going on, Terry? How you doing? Got you a big box of food. Yeah? I came last week. You did? Pulled right up here like this. Oh. You had the same company. I did. <laughs> That's why I pulled out. Okay, okay. Yeah, I pulled right up here. Had a hot meal and everything. What? And, uh, yeah, and, I, us, and I heard it. And I said, well, this time I'm not leaving. I came out this time. I brought you a box because I didn't have, I don't want, it's fresh. Nobody, you're the only one I'm serving out here. Mike, he used to have time. He ain't there. Mike? Yeah, Mike behind the. Yeah, um, Salvation Army. Yeah. yeah it's half the time he's not there. I guess he's out fishing or something. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. He like to be down there fishing on that pier down there. You know, they got, they built, re, re kind of decorated that pier. I know they did. They're yeah. doing all that nice stuff. Yeah. But that's a good, pretty good walk, too, to walk down yeah, that pier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't go down there looking for him myself, personally. But I got, um, yeah, I, no. Yeah. I want to make sure I filmed it. Brother Mike Morgan got you this. Hey, Brother Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he got you. He got you. He got you this, um. Uh, the same thing, he got you this sausage before. Yeah, 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 the summer sausage. Yeah, and he got you a, a thing of this, mm -hmm. and I threw in a bunch of extra stuff. Okay. Um, I believe they even got this uh, this cup of noodles and stuff. I got you some Pop-Tarts, crackers. I even found a thing of peanut butter to throw in there for you. Oh, thank you. Um, there's, yeah, I got uh, some little bagels, little round bagels, and I was like, man, I need something to put on these bagels. Got you some water, some Gatorades. Okay. Um, and I'll help you with that. And uh, let me see, I, I think some cold drinks are here. I don't have any cold water. And I don't have any more teas. Oh! I know it. That's all right, that's all right. What kind of Gatorade you like? Uh, any, any, any kind, as long as it's cold. <laughs> you don't care long as it's cold. I mean, I still drink it if it's warm. But, you know, it's better when it's cold. That's good, yeah. Beautiful, thank you. You wanna? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got this little container to keep it keep it cold, you know. It's like a little, you know, whatever you call it. Yeah. Okay, thank you, man. I ain't know if you can oh yeah, you just see. I That's did come. Yeah, you were yeah, back, yeah. you were sitting you were sitting right there facing that direction yeah. and I heard him talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, Lord I yeah, you know what? And I, I just have to kind of stand up and look out here, right? So if you carry that, let me carry that for you. Because this is a heavy box. Yeah, okay. I'm not saying you're weak or nothing, but. Yeah, well, you know, I still got this thing here, so. Yeah. If you don't need to I'm going to try to get this thing out of it. I've been going to the doctor trying to get my blood pressure down. That's been the key to it. And, uh, man, they give me the blood pressure on medication. Uh -huh. Yeah, it'll work for like a couple hours, you know, I'm trying to be right, right down the other side. Yeah, well, that's, um, I don't know. You think that thing will work out? 
Well, you know what I mean? She, it's really her idea. It ain't my idea. <laughs> it's what she kind of wants. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if it don't, I, you know, I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it because it's not, you know, really something I've never been married. So, and it ain't something that I really like look forward to doing at this point in my life. But, you know, it's just the way she has lived her life. You're a very religious lady. Mm -hmm. You know, she, her, 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 her opening line on her. On her uh, answering service, praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll do what you gonna do, Terry. Yeah. So like yeah, so you know, just.